Oh, hi. How are you? I'm doing all right. So, I know you've uh, been wondering about the craziness that's been going on. So have I. <sighs> Where do I start? You know, I've been sick many times, but I've never gotten sick and turned into a monster. Although this past Christmas, I thought that's exactly what was happening. So to catch you up, this is the year 2022. Mankind has been through a lot. Uh, I'm just trying to get ready to hold out in this house. I don't know who it belongs to, but for now, I'm going to hold out here until we can get moving again. My, uh, my survival mate is somewhere throughout the house, so you may hear him walking through, securing the perimeter, making sure things are safe. Um, I managed to get something that I hadn't had in like months, a nice hot shower, and I got to sit down and eat. And sure, it was processed survival food, but during a time like this, what can you do? And, um, oh, <laughs> found some bullets. <laughs> so I'm not just walking around <laughs> threatening and bothering without any means to back up my threats. Hopefully we don't run into any more walkers. Huh? Oh. Well. So, when COVID-19 hit, we thought it was just a flu. They shut the economy down. And, uh, Everybody wore masks, still got to wear a mask. Two years later. But, um, it seems that uh, COVID-19 was the least of our worries. First there was COVID-19. Then there was COVID-20. And some wonderful scientist thought he could make everything better. Gotta admire people with science. But, uh, unfortunately, unlike in the movies, things don't necessarily get better. A lot of people ended up getting sick. So those who survived COVID-19 fell to COVID-20. Those who survived COVID-20, well, let me see how I can explain this. Some of us became unaffected. Um, and when I say unaffected, I mean, I haven't been sick in almost a year and a half. In fact, the last time I got sick was Christmas of 2019, throwing up everywhere. It was really coming out of both ends. Sorry, too much information. And then, I got the sniffles 
uh, June of 2020, I believe. There's nothing like a summer cold. But I survived that. A scientist supposedly helped us out. I didn't want to take the inoculation because I wasn't sure that they had done enough human trials, but I took it. They forced me. Plus, it was either that or lose my job. And I can't lose my job because I got bills to pay and I got to take care of my dad. And it's just rough. So, but now. Everybody that I know and love is gone. Fell to COVID-20. And then, after about a year of realizing that I wasn't sick, and six months of being on the run for my life, um, I finally realized what this is. It's the apocalypse. It didn't happen suddenly like I, like it usually does in the movies. You remember that movie with Will Smith? And he was surviving with the dog. He was yelling at the mannequin. You doing out here, Fred? Just slowly but surely these things started to happen people got sick all of a sudden there was so many sick people we couldn't bury enough of them fast enough and then one night I'm driving home from work and there's this lady walking in the middle of the street and I'm like okay we got some drug addicts around here but this lady must be high on something She's just slowly walking in the middle of the street, and so I just kind of honk my horn to see if I can wake her up. And she stop, and I stop. And then she turns around. And I had never seen such lifeless eyes before. But there was an intelligence behind those lifeless eyes. And she calculated who or what I was. And then she let out a blood curdling scream. And so I sped around her and she grasped for my car. And I made it home. And when I got home, I pulled into the driveway. Turn the car off, got my bags out, close my door. I'm walking to my door. Before I got in the door good, I stopped and I noticed that there were a bunch of foot traffic. It's all these people walking around in the dark. And I'm like, who are these people? So, uh, not knowing what was going on fully, I go to my door, tried to open the door, turns out somebody on the other side of the door was barricading the door, and I started banging on the door, dude, let me in, my roommate was banging, stupid, keeping the door all locked, and then, you know, he's like, who is it, you know, and I'm like, dude, it's me, you know, and I told him my name, and he let me in but just before he let me in I looked at the end of the driveway and there's that crazy lady and she starts hobbling towards me my roommate's taking his time opening the door dropped my stupid keys picked them up dropped my backpack picked it up and um and I'm yelling at him to open the door pushing against the door he opens the door, and uh, I managed to get inside, suffice it to say. I got all my stuff, closed the door, locked it, 
And um, this lady's banging on the door, banging on the door and screaming at the top of her lungs. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? You see, I work at a production facility. And in this facility, we are uh, shut off from the media, the news. Um, I do have my cell phone that was going off. It was going off and... I don't know. It was going off and... And, um... They were saying all these things was happening. And... I was just... I don't know. I was just... You know, just didn't pay attention. I thought it was crazy because... They were reporting it as it was happening... Somewhere else. So... I, not thinking, just assumed that, oh, well, that's not here. I don't have to worry about it. Then my boss was looking at me, telling me, hey, put your phone away. And I'm like, fine, I put my phone away. We finished the job. And um, I got in my car, I got home, not thinking anything about it. I'm just tired. I just want to get home and get some rest and maybe do a little gaming before, you know, go to bed. I make it home. Roommate lets me in. We barricade the door. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? And he's like, have you been watching the news? I'm like, no, I haven't been watching the news. And he's like, dude, there's an apocalypse. All these dead people that we buried, they've digging their way out of the ground. They're alive again, and they're just mindless zombies. So anyway, things just kind of went down after that. Just... Really went to garbage. Um, eventually, we couldn't stay where we lived. We couldn't stay where we lived anymore. I had to move. Um, the company put things on hold. So I still ended up losing my job. Um, I didn't withdraw all my money out of the bank like everybody else did, but. It was a real rough time. So, uh, apparently, I was one of a few million people that took this revolutionary vaccine that was supposed to heal us and keep us from getting sick. Well, it worked. I don't get sick anymore. I literally don't get sick anymore. I've been scratched by rusty nails. I've been bitten by dogs. And my wounds just heal up, like, really fast. Um, so I have that going for me, which is nice. My roommate used to be overweight. But now he's like a pretty fit guy. Um, his sister that's traveling with us, she was a, a paraplegic, but she took the vaccine and after a couple of months, feelings came back to her legs and she could walk again. And she's a faster runner than all of us. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, anyway. We've been on the run. We heard that there's a place that we could go where a lot of um, humans are. People who didn't become zombified. And as it turns out, uh, they did research on the zombies and it turns out they're just, they're just that. They're just mindless creatures animated by who knows what. But all I know is one good shot. Put them down. Um, so we run and we shoot and we run. And uh, like I said, I ran out of bullets, but I broke into this house. A couple of minutes ago, the sun's going to be going down here soon. That's when they're most active, so... 
my roommate's out getting supplies, and hey, it's his turn. And um, since I found this camera here, I thought I'd make a video journal if, for whatever reason, we don't make it. Um, they say we're a unique breed now, those of us with the vaccine. We're something above human, but I don't believe in that nonsense. Look, you're either human or you're not. And sure, my wounds may heal quicker. Um, I have the stamina that I had 20 years ago when I was 24, but still, you know, I don't know. But just, just want to rebuild the planet. You know, if we have to get rid of all these mindless monsters roaming around trying to tear us apart and consume us, then um, maybe that's what we should do. I don't know. I don't have the answers. I just, I just want to make it. I just want to, just want to survive, get where I need to be. Like I said. All the people that I love are dead. Um, except for people that I'm running with, I guess. I you know, kind of love them too. Well, like them anyway. Um, but. You hear that? that bird is getting closer. Huh. I guess it's nothing. We'll deal with that threat when it gets here. Where am I really out there? alarm. <laughs> anyway, look, in the morning after we were well rested, after we were well fed, we'll move out. We'll, uh, and this guy's computer still works. I'm going to use it to plot ourselves a way out of here into a uh, Yakima. Uh, I heard there's a visions and um, a safe place for humans um, doesn't seem to be safe here um, I wanted to go to Seattle but Seattle is a wasteland it, it literally looks like ground zero up there like demolished buildings uh, it's just a real mess um, but anyway, most people, you want to avoid the cities because that's where the most people are. The more densely populated the area is, the more chances you're going to have of running into walkers, you know. So, I don't want to warn any walkers. I really don't. I only got 15 bullets. I'm going to have to divvy them up between all of us so that we can all have a fighting chance. Um, luckily, whoever owned this house did have a supply of processed food. Um, for some reason, you can't eat the stuff that currently grows out of the ground. Or, for that matter, we can. It's just, I don't know. I don't trust it. And plus... I'm just not sure about it. 
Plus, I don't want to eat food that these zombie bodies were buried in. And, uh, you know, out of the same ground, these zombies were buried in. Who knows what kind of contamination they have. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like uh, we're going to have to... Is that a truck? I think my roommate might be coming back. Hopefully he got some good supplies for us, but anyway, um, I like this guy's camera. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the mic, too. He doesn't need it. What else he has? The first aid kit, Q-tips, Dunn and various toiletries. Yeah, I'm taking all of this. Going to need it. Might need it. I need it. Anyway, um, if you should see this, I hope you're surviving um, safely. And um, if we meet up, hey, we're all human. Let's help each other out. Let's not fight. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of supplies for everybody to go around. And even if there is not, We'll, we'll, we'll think of something. We'll come to some middle ground. We'll all survive together. So, hmm. I wonder if this guy has Wi-Fi. Let me check his computer. Oh. Well, thank goodness for people who don't lock their stuff. It looks like there is Wi-Fi. So, uh, I'll upload this to YouTube for other zombie apocalypse survivors. And maybe we can coordinate, maybe we can message and get some, you know, get some cross information and some communicating going, you know. So if any of you out there knows, um, where is this? Pu-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-pu-wall-